I want to talk a little about family. I really want to speak about this. And I hope it makes sense. If you have an enemy and an enemy and that enemy is threatening your life um coming to your house breaking your windows um trying to hurt your children just doing things to somewhat torment you what would you do at the least you would probably stay away from them maybe call the police overall you would probably stay away from them okay now let's say that enemy is your brother your sister your father your mother your uncle would you say to me well if the enemy is not my family i am going to stay away from them but if that enemy is that is doing those same things if that enemy is my family member then i am going to come around them anyway So the enemy that is not your family member, you would stay away from them if they were to do those things. But since that person is your family member, you are telling me you are going to stay around them? They are doing the same things. I believe more abuse happens to people in family than out of family. I think some people have this mental block or this thinking, no matter what family does, stay around them. I believe some children are touched on, but that person is still permitted to come to the house. I believe some family members have done very evil things, but are still allowed to come around and some people may be shocked that person is still doing the same things my lord where has this mental block look man i may be wrong about this and please correct me if i am wrong about this think about prison if somebody does something really bad, in some cases, they may go to prison. You know, if you take someone's life, um, you may go to prison for some years, depending on what is involved, I guess. Now, jail and prison some people 
may not want to do certain things because they probably know or they may not do it because they have to pay a consequence. There are consequences. Okay. Some people may not rob a bank because they don't want to go to prison. Some people may not, some people may want to, did, did I say that right? Some people, yes, some people may not rob a bank because they don't want to go to prison. Some people may want to do very evil things, but may not do some of them because they know they may have to pay in some type of way. Let me say this. If a family member is constantly doing evil things, without consequence what will motivate that person to stop i know in some cases there are some people who don't care you can take them to prison i believe there are some people like that to where they can go to prison time after time time after time i believe there are some people you can punish them and as it seems they don't really care okay even though there have to be punishment if i come to your house Let's say I am very evil. If I am your uncle, right? Uncle Kev. And I continue to come to your house and break your window. If you don't call the police on me, if you don't do something to punish me, why would I stop? Well, I don't want to call the police on Kevin because he is my uncle. Makes no sense. There have to be a punishment. There have to be some type of boundary you set on a family member to where if they cross it, you do something. Not saying to fight the person and stuff like that, no. There have to be boundaries. You may have to tell that person, stay away for a year, stay away for some time. Do something to make up for what you have done. But in some cases, no matter what a family member does, that person is welcome back. Sometimes probably I believe in that case, and I believe in some cases they are welcomed back in a short period of time. It makes no sense to me. So I believe if you do that, you are encouraging that person to continue doing evil. So I believe you are a partaker. I don't have children. And some people may say, well, you can't really speak on, well, actually I do have a stepchild. I take that back. But some people may say, you know, some people may say, you know, what am I saying? <laughs> Some people may say, you can't really say what you will do with your own child until you have him or her. 
I can tell you this. There is no way I am going to raise a child that is going to be, how can I say this? I'm not going to raise a child to be disrespectful to me. I will train that child to know there are boundaries, that I am higher than them, that they have to obey. They are not my friend. I can be friendly, but they are not my friend. I hope this makes sense. Sometimes I believe you may have to push away some family members, maybe for lifelong, maybe temporarily, depending on the case. But stop letting very bad abuse happen and have no consequence for the person who has done so who has done the bad deed i hope this makes sense let me stop here god bless you